And we're underway. And the ball uh, immediately with uh, Tom Broadbent at the back and played up an early touch for Alfie Bates. Alfie Bates back in the starting 11, first time for some little while. Came off the bench on Tuesday against Russia Olympic. Who do for South Shields? Just skips past Ricardo Calder, who rather committed himself. And now Mackenzie Heaney on the right, the chance to cross in, gets a good cross in. And needed Gazdine to uh, make an intervention there and put the ball out of play for a first corner of the game. This man gets up. And now Matt Wasser with the ball at his feet. Just touches it off to Newton, who finds Bates and plays a lovely pass out to Calder and what can he do here? It's up against Lefoudou, decides to go for the byline does Calder. Does well does the Brackley man, still got possession. And now Murumbedzi comes into play. Looks to cross it in does Murumbedzi and it comes off a defender for a throw in. Players are all in that six yard box, everybody knows where this throw in is going to go. And here it comes, gives it some air. Lily was up and Dean was up, but it was a, a visitor ahead who got, got to it. And here is CJ Clark on the left, man with the blue boots, going to get the shot in. It was a good block from the Brackley man in the middle, but still pressure. This is a Heaney on the right hand side of the Brackley penalty area, crosses it deep. Brackley just struggling to clear there for a moment. Loose ball, drives forward, Wood slides in. He's caught and this time it is a free kick. It's just taken quickly and Lauren Bettesy plays it to Armstrong in the space on the halfway line, drives forward after her turn in. Calder on the left, Lafoudi looks like he's struggling as he runs over and jogs, gingerly drogs over. Calder takes him on, Lafoudi slides in, Calder still has the ball, swings the cross in, flicked on by Turner, Bates heads it into the middle and yes! Newton scores! Newton on the turn, gets a slight touch on the ball from close range <laughs> of a tight angle and Brackley lead against the run of play you have to say but it is Brackley Town 1, South Shields 0 Danny Newton with another goal on the halfway line Murmetsi presses him though, wins the ball and now Turner, if he can turn and get the ball, he does gets there first, it's 3-on-3 three three here for Brackley Turner with Armstrong at the back post instead it's Newton, oh the touch is just takes it a bit too far for him to get the shot away and still Brackley have the ball though and Bates on the edge of the box just tries to keep the ball it's blocked his pass into the middle but again Southfields can't clear it's Armson over to Matwasa who can drive at Adams already on a yellow card Matwasa into the box just can't dig it out dig out the cross there and it has to go back but tries to skill pass Adams is already on the yellow as I just mentioned still got the ball right on the byline there Matwasa just needs a bit of support you'd think Matt Wasser, if he can knock it back to Bates, who remonstrates with him for not doing so, gets it back to Murumbetsi on the edge. And Murumbetsi is forced back by the South Shields numbers, flicks it forward for Armson. Bracken still have the ball in the final third. Adams knocks it out for a throw in, and finally that move comes to an end. Bates now places the ball down and ready to take this corner. Men at the far post all run towards the front as Bates takes it. Lily can't win it. It's, it's Newton who's won it comes down to him his shot is blocked Armson left footed strike and similar to Calder's effort earlier this one you can forgive him though being first time and arriving at him at speed slices it wide and it's a let off for South Shields does take it now forward to Martin Martin gets the ball before the run backs in hooks it forward Heaney now sliding challenge from Dean wins the ball and Armson comes away with it Turner on the left wing left side of the box cuts inside takes a shot it's blocked and it's wide and it's a corner to Brackley and we're off we're underway for this second half and my goodness we've got a long way to go but what a win it would be for Brackley if they could uh, get one over on second place South Shields certainly something is looking quite unlikely in that opening 25 minutes or so of the half but it's the game's been transformed and turned on its head as Alfie Bates uh, spreads the ball out to the left towards Ricardo Calder and he's up against Lefoudou the food who comes away with the ball 
Jimmy Armson gets involved and wins it back for his side. That allows Lilly to play it up towards Turner. But it's back with uh, South Shields. Gaz Dean under that forward pass. A little bit of rain coming down. The uh, floodlights are shining brightly. Jimmy Armson's intervention puts, puts Brackley away with Dan Turner and he tried to lay it into the path of Alfie Bates on the edge of the penalty area but a defender got an important boot in there and now there's defending for Brackley to do. End to end here at the start of this second half just as Smith spreads it wide. And Dan Turner's over there for Brackley to stop the running on goal. Cross comes in. And a shot comes in from, uh, from Clark and that, well, that wasn't his best. Managed to get the ball up to Martin and Matt Wasser on the ball. Matt Wasser does really well to get away from Martin. Up towards the bylines, Matt Wasser. You're never going to get a penalty there. Just going to be swung in, an in-swinger. It's not the best ball but it bounces. Still not cleared by Brackley and it's picked up on the edge. Shepman blocks it, he blocks it and it's a penalty. He was stood about two yards away from the player who took the shot. The referee and judges that that's a handball and it did strike his arm which was outstretched but from very close range which I think is what Gareth Dean is saying to the referee but Smith shuffles with the runner, takes it, saved by Barry Lewis, still on though and Smith having missed the penalty scores the rebound and it's 1-1 Danny Lewis saved the penalty low to his left it was a good save beating it into the floor but Smith was closest to react throwing comes in from Carline Lobos drops deep and plays it across his own box to Lilly who advances over the halfway line still on the ball Lilly having spun past his man plays it out wide to Bates and Bates now with a crossing opportunity gets inside of Mongoy who overcommitted as he looked to block it Bates into the feet of Newton. Newton just isn't able to turn and Woods comes away with the ball. Will Metzi still on it though. Calder having received a sliding challenge from Woods there. No free kick given but Black can still have the ball. Carline. Bates makes a run but instead Carline decides to keep the ball. Newton comes deep. Plays it out wide to Matwasa and if he can keep this in which he has he'll be running down the right wing. Looks to take on Hassani. Wins the ball despite and then the cross across the box and it's flicked up in the air by a South Shields man and Bailey's able to claim it was takes it forward over halfway into South Shields half Newton flicks on Will oh. header and that's oh, how is it yeah, handball right on the edge of the box well and it's a yellow card as well I, I don't think it was intentional to be fair to Lafudu but definitely did strike his outstretched arm and it's a uh, yellow card and a free kick in a really good position for Alfie Bates you would assume with Bates with this free kick oh, and it's well it's not just over the bar it's over the stand and that is a huge waste of a great position one of the last kicks of the game Moran Betsy has the ball on the halfway line and Lily you've got to go forward with the referee checking his watch Calder on the left wing takes on Clark on the outside, Calder swings a great ball. Can Danny Newton get there? No, he can't. It's headed away by Ward then. And that is the final action of the game. And well, really exciting second half. Probably more so from a South Shields perspective. And it ends 1 1 in this game between the fifth and second place sides in the league.